Hey guys, it's Joe from Priority RS, and I'm back to make my first video in seven weeks now. Yeah, it's been quite a long break, but I am finally back, and I am here to deliver my promised one video per week. And over the next week, maybe a little bit longer, I will be making up all the seven videos that I missed and a video for this week. Um, my first video is over the advantages and well, mostly just the advantages of the evolution of combat. Um, number one being that you can put a resource in your inventory or in your abilities bar and immediately drop all of them in your inventory. Well, like three seconds. Um, if you put your home teleport or any teleport tabs in here, you simply press the hotkey for it and you get the interface or with a teleport tablet or spell or whatever, you'll just teleport. Um, that's a pretty nice feature. Uh, you can also put armor, weapons, and food in there. So in the middle of combat, you can press some buttons to quickly equip your items. Um, this is the Make X option, which allows you to make up to 28 of an item, based on how many of something or other is in your inventory. Um, you can drag the nice little slider there to choose how many you'd like to make. So if you don't want to completely... F um, Empty your inventory by making a certain item. You can just drag the slider down. It's much more effective than those uh, chunky little up-down arrows that always didn't really work very quickly. This works very quickly. It's very effective. Um, and as you can see, it's got a nice little interface. It tells you how many you've made. It tells you how close to done you are and how much XP you've gotten while making X number of them and how many you've gotten so far and at the end it'll tell you how much you've gotten. Um, the Make X interface applies to smithing, smelting, and fletching. Um, I believe it also applies to crafting. Uh, this does not apply to f um, stringing for fletching, however it does apply to actually making your bows. Um, it does not apply to high level alchemy unfortunately. <laughs> I was hoping for that one. But they didn't do it. Um, it probably applies to the cooking interface, but I don't really know because I haven't tried out cooking yet in the EOC. Um, if you want to quickly do some high level alchemy, you can now place the high level alchemy spell in your abilities bar and use that to click on the item that you want to alchemize and you will immediately alchemize it. This saves you having to click on the magic button and then click on the item in your inventory. All you have to do is tap a button on your keyboard and then click much quicker. Um, the buffer seems to hold five at the moment, so up to five items can be in at any given time. <sighs> That's how many I've judged are there. It could be more, it could be less, I don't know. Um, yeah. Um, next up is a little bit of mining. Um, mining advantages of the EOC. Nothing really changes in the mining. However, a very large advantage that unfortunately will go away is that there are no bots anywhere in Alcabrid at the moment. I'm not sure if they're all in the resource dungeon, which would be news to me, or the more likely case is they're gone because the EOC is kind of like a bot nuke. The only bots that are currently left are the ad bots in Lumbridge, Drainer, and the Grand Exchange. Um, teleport here. And like I said, you can use the Make X interface to smelt your bars. I will do that with these iron bars here in a moment. Just run over there and make X. I will make five iron bars and four of them will come out. Well, six iron bars, five will come out. <laughs> um, yeah. It does not improve or make your odds worse or whatever. Um, for you actually making your iron bars. So, um, yeah, that doesn't really matter any. Um, yeah, that's about it here. Well, I guess I'll just finish off this clip here so you can see how the smithing interface works now. And, yeah. So you just click here, same interface as before, tells you how much XP you've earned, how many, out of how many you've done, and, some other various little bits of information. Yeah, and that's it for this video. I will be making another seven of these in the next 
10 or so days. So it should be a good time.